Hey Windowers and welcome to another episode of Windows on Windows, part of the series on the development of Windows Vista. In this episode we will round off our journey, our long, hard journey through the development of Windows Vista. So without further ado, let's start. Yes, that's right everybody, we made it to the last episode in this series. And what a journey it has been. There has been frustration, there has been joy, there have been a bunch load of features that no one knew anything about and didn't know what they were doing with that sort of got scrapped. Um, and all through that there was the hard, constant determination by Microsoft to get this operating system pushed out to consumers and guess what? They did it. And they did it in... Well, I was going to say they did it in a record time, not a good record. It took them quite a long time, about five years, but they did it. And uh, here we are at the desktop of Windows Vista as it was released to consumers um, with a little disclaimer that actually this is build 6002, which is Service Pack 2 with updates as well. But for the purposes of this part of the video, we'll just assume that it's RTM. Okay. Yeah, so this is what consumers would have seen upon booting up their new Windows Vista machine and if they were lucky enough to have bought a new computer at a computer shop at the time they would have hopefully got a very stable uh, and well functioning uh, install of Vista. However for most people at this point in time, this is early 2007, buying a new computer was not cheap and so a lot of people kept their old hardware and they upgraded from XP and there were a lot of problems uh, which I'll get back to uh, in a minute but before that let's just have a brief brief look at the very very few things the few main things anyway that have changed by the RTM build now build 6000 uh, was compiled on the 1st of November 2006 and one of the new things that it brought obviously this new default wallpaper which again obviously made it into the final version of Vista I'm so used to saying that, I've, that I don't even know why I even said that because I'm talking about the RTM build which is the final version of Vista uh, or it was uh, at the time so anyway yes default wallpaper obviously and again if you know about Vista if you've used it you'll know this is the default wallpaper um, other than that um, the only other main um, addition was just some new icons. So just finalizing the move over from the old 9X slash XP icons um, to more Vista-esque icons. Now, I'm not going to go into this in too much detail, but if you again, if you've used Vista or you know anything about its history, then you'll know that RTM Vista was very, very badly received by consumers and businesses. There was a whole hoo-ha about it being incompatible with devices about it causing blue screens and hardware issues and it, it just really wasn't good now to vista's credit the issues mainly or as far as i'm concerned were more to do with hardware manufacturers not creating drivers in time for vista's release and it wasn't actually anything to do with vista itself being buggy it was just a lack of support from hardware manufacturers. So Vista RTM, if you had a machine that had hardware that was compatible with it out of the box, would have run perfectly fine. However, as is always the case with these sort of things, once Vista had gotten bad press, it was very, very hard for Microsoft to shake it off. And so that bad reputation stuck with Vista for the whole of its life, which is really unfortunate because it's actually a really lovely operating system. Uh, back to our timeline. So from RTM, we then had Service Pack 1, which came out on the 4th of February 2008. And Service Pack 1 was mainly fixes for those sort of hardware issues that I was talking about. So uh, new drivers included, uh, bug fixes here and there, a few minor, minor tweaks to the user interface. So for example, one of the things that was changed in Service Pack 1 was in the start menu options. So here, where you can add different things to your start menu, uh, you used to be able to add a search button to the right hand side, which would show up here. Uh, that functionality was removed and I can totally see why, because you have a search box right there. So there's no need to really, you know, have a search button. You can just search for what you want there. And moving on then to Service Pack 2, build 6002. This was released on the 28th of April, 2009. So only really a few months before Windows 7. Uh, was released. Now, like I was saying, by by this point in Vista's development, by Service Pack 2, a lot of the issues with the hardware, the bugs, the speed and responsiveness even had been completely sorted and it was fine. 
as an everyday operating system, it was fine. However, also like I was saying, the reputation stuck. You might be aware of something that Microsoft did called Project Mojave, which was where they basically got people to come in and test out, in inverted commas, the next version of Windows, and people loved it. The only problem with that was that they were actually showing these people Windows Vista. These were people that had heard all of bad press about Vista and made their minds up about Vista without actually using Vista for themselves. So when they were interviewed, the people were just generally saying, yes, I hate Vista. I'd never install that on my on my PC. Then they checked out, again, inverted commas, Mojave, and they loved it. And guess what, guys? It was Vista the whole time. So don't be a sheep. Make your own minds up. So I really hope you've enjoyed this series covering the development of Windows Vista. It's definitely one of the most interesting OS developments uh, ever, really. And yeah, hopefully I look forward to seeing you guys when we journey through the development of Windows 98. I will see you then. Bye.